Hello and welcome to the short take with me, Jake, and Alex. Woo! Ah, Just applause. Oh yeah, cool. Woo. It's not like no, it's not the ditty. It's not plates breaking. No, okay. Do you want to do the ditty now? The ditty. Oh, the yeah. ditty. You mean the one we always do for every episode? The same one. The same, we exact, do. same, the one exact every same one. Skilly bop bop. Who? Short take. Short take. Short take. Talk Jake. They'll see you as well. Short take. That was a little bit too long for my liking. I hadn't actually finished, but... Okay, it, carry man. on. No, you've ruined it. No, no, all right, cool. Maybe we'll get a little bit more at the end for the outro oh. ditty. Oh. 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 Um, welcome to episode four. Mm. Yeah, it is episode four. Cool. Yep. Um, this week we're looking at Inside, uh, which was a film picked by me. It is not the Bo Burnham Inside. I was Inside. just about to say. Um, <laughs> it came out in 2002. Gosh. Oh, that was a while ago. It was a while ago, yeah. I mean... Yeah. The, the quality of it, like, I think you could tell it was I old. couldn't. We'll no? talk about that. I couldn't. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, we'll get on to that. Um, yeah, it came out in 2002. was directed by... Um, oh, I've lost his name. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Trevor Sands. That's his name. Cool. I, I can't remember which way we do this. I say the plot summary, and then you give your Alex Opsis. Yeah, yeah. Alex Opsis? I don't think we've ever called it that, but yeah, let's go for let's that. Let's go for that. Alex Opsis. So the one on IMDb is the name, is like, so it's part of like a collection mm -hmm. and the description on IMDb is just the description of the collection. Oh. So it's a bit pointless. Um, but the one on Letterboxd is a mentally ill patient is questioned to see if he is fit for release. And now I'll pass it over to Alex. So if I had to break it down and like give it a synopsis, I'd say, wow, M. Night Shyamalan must have seen this. Cool. That's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, fair enough. I think we'll move quickly on from that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what were your overall thoughts? I really liked it. I think yeah. um, it... I thought the acting was really good in it. There was a point where I thought the acting was bad in it, but then it worked, uh, which was the doctor lady with the reveal at the end. For a yeah. second, I was like, why is she so sinister? What the fuck is up with this? This is bad acting on her part. But then it turns out... Oh, okay. She is kind what, of when she shouts at them all? No, no, no. It's after that when she, like, sits there and she goes, Hi, Daniel. Oh, okay. You're back. And yeah. I'm like, so what's going on here? Why is she so evil sounding? She's meant to be a, like, doctor, right? And then, like, turn out she wasn't. That's a good twist. <laughs> no, I thought the acting was really good. I thought it was a solid... How long was it? Eight minutes. It really did not yeah. feel like eight minutes at all. It flew by. Yeah, no, it was uh, really which is good. Yeah, it was really quick. Um, well paced. Very well paced. Produ uh, production design is really good. Yeah. And I don't, it was very concise, which I liked. It's fascinating. It came out in 2002. One of the things I thought when we started it was, I wonder how people reacted to this online and stuff. Mm. And I wondered, because, I mean, obvious comparison with Split, right? I was, I was going to bring that up a bit later, said, yeah. Anyway. Uh, people rallied on Split because they thought it was an unfair representation of DID and stuff. Okay. I feel like it makes sense back in 2002 that probably without the internet being what it is today, people wouldn't get up in arms about something like that. But like, I wonder how people would feel about it now. Yeah, it would sense. be interesting. When did Split come out? 2012, I believe. 12, okay. Oh, no, so no, no, no. I 14, feel like it was like 14. 14, it's 14. Sounds, that sounds a bit more, yeah. yeah I'm so, like, to 12 years difference yeah. between them. Um, so, this one, actually, I don't know about the online reception. Mm. I guess there wasn't much online at that point yeah, in no. time. Um, but it won Best Short Film at the San Diego Film Festival. That's fair. And the Best Short Narrative Slash Film at San Francisco International Film Festival. Very so fun. it's won some stuff. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's really solid. I think it definitely doesn't look like it was made in 2002. Like, I don't know how they pulled that off. I think the certain parts of the... I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's the camera quality or maybe it's the, like, the um, color correction, something like that. It's definitely more of a professional production. That I, think, I think the difference is in 2002... <laughs> The way the internet is now, you can essentially make anything anywhere, anytime, right? So yeah. I feel like a lot of short films now are lower quality because of it. Does that make sense? Just because, oh, okay, not yeah. because short films in general are, but like, I mean, like, more short films are coming out that are like, yeah, no, it's, it's, um, because it's just easier to do. Saturation, isn't yeah, it? It's exactly, like saturation of the, of the, yeah. So I feel like yeah. the reason that one looks good is probably because it technically is a professional. I mean, yeah, it's made by a proper film. company and everything, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was made as a showcase. Okay, for, what? for the, the actors and the directors. 
Okay. I thought like when I first like I was like, oh, this is a showcase for like a film, yeah. like a fe- like you know, this is a short for mm-hmm. a feature. Um, but the director's just yeah, he's done nothing with it. So oh, has like, he ever done anything else? He did two films. One he'd already done when he did okay. this film. One came out in 1995, and then he did one in 2014. Um, about it's a sci-fi thing about a DJ. In 2014, like 12 years later. The same year Split came out. The same year Split it's came split. out. <laughs> oh yeah, the maybe was M Night Shyamalan. Maybe um maybe this one was M Night Shyamalan, and they he was doing Split, and then they just swapped. Oh, they had a, they had a swap. He swapped they did the. A uh, swap. He did a uh, Freaky Friday. He did do a Freaky Friday. Yeah, I heard about that. Actually, yeah, Trevor Sands is now in M Night Shyamalan's body. And vice versa. Vice versa. Uh, yeah. M Night's not happy about that. He's not. It happened after uh, Thingy came out. Uh, Avatar. No, after. I'm uh, sorry. The last really yeah. bad film he made. Yeah, he's some for some reason he's got a thing against M Night Shyamalan, so he's yeah. just making bad movies on purpose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, he's he's basically done. He's not done very much since. Maybe he's doing something else. I don't know. Maybe that's uh, interesting. He was involved in, I think it was the Blade Runner video game. What? Which is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so weird. Which wait? What year? Uh, I can't remember. Is it the old Blade Runner, like point and click? Because I know there's a Blade Runner point and click game that's pretty inf- not infamous, but like it's got like a cult following. I don't it's think it was that bad, one. I, don't, I can't think of any others. No, I mean I don't. I think that's you know, mm. you know he's not a, he's not a well known guy or anything. Yeah, I quite liked it as well though. I, I really like it. I think it's um it's got a solid twist at the end of it, which I think most yeah. Sure I need. think I really like the twist, but for some reason it felt a little bit flat. Oh, see, I didn't think it did. I think it really not worked for me. No, because I think I didn't see it coming. Okay. Person. So it really like when it happened, I was like, "Oh, like that's yeah. clever." I, I think, think the fact it, that, like I said before, I didn't like her performance, and then it kind of I like, realized. What oh, was and then it clicked into place, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I think that for me, it when she speaks to all of the other people in the room, mm. it like yeah, I think I it's love... a little bit too obvious. I oh, see. I don't know if it's obvious. I thought it was weird when it happened. I'd be curious on a rewatch what I'd think. Yeah. When it happened, I was like, this is weird. Like, I don't know how I feel about this moment. But then I kind of, like, breezed past that when it got to the very end bit. Yeah. Um, I, I think I liked it more on a second watch. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I liked the way they did the performances with the... I think all of the characters are really well designed. Like, yeah. the production design, again, in general was really good. But the character designs are really good. Like, you got who everyone was without having to meet them properly. Yeah, I mean, they all got, got like, like, two line. lines, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I thought that was really clever. Uh, I like the way they did the thing of them speaking and then the main guy speaking i love that same time, yeah very, very i love clever. the like the the camera angles and the direction yeah. that they used for that and they did it in lots of different ways as well yeah the bit where he's like in the background they love do that the yeah dual, i think um, the um focus thing the, the focus what's it called the the aggressive guy who was in the yeah. background in that shot he had three different bits where he was talking mm. and they did like three different things with him like the first yeah. time he was in front of the guy yeah. And then he was off to the side and then he was behind him. Yeah. And they did like different angles and different shots for that. I thought it was cool. It was cool kind of just watching the chaos and watching them trying to figure out the method to the madness, like looking at each of the characters and figuring out what their deal is. Like, I feel like just from that, you can kind of tell that the female character and the big guy who's next mm. to him feel like the more logical people. Like yeah. in that scene, it looked like they both were like, what is going on calm down like she looks really annoyed that everyone's going and he looks like he's about to have a breakdown but he's like guys oh, like kind of felt like that the big guy being the one who was like the really like tubby guy tubby oh the him. One next to yeah him. yeah he, he doesn't did like, he have get, any lines don't think he does but you no. can see him like saying stuff at one point yeah and i feel like i don't know i thought that was interesting seeing those characters reacting to the characters around them and stuff like that yeah the way they all interacted was great mm. and i loved how it um like the first time you see them is when he's walking into the room and you see yeah, like three, very, very four cool. of them. Yeah, when he keeps and going then, across and they disappear. Yeah, and, then one's and then when place. he's in the room, they they build on it so well. Like mm. they st- he starts off with those same like four yeah. people around him. By the end of it, there's like ten so or fifteen. There's also like, a shot I think, if I remember correctly, where it's like a two shot of the table, but you can see all of them behind him, and I thought that looked really impactful. Like work. Yeah. Yeah, it was really um, cool. And then the follow-up shot of the Doctor and him on the table. It's like a side profile yeah. one. And it's just him. Yeah. Because they all did, like, he, she told them very to shut good. up, so they're all gone. Yeah. Very, very um, good. There was also in that shot when she, like, I guess takes control or mm. gives control back to him, whatever it is. Yeah. There's a light that goes by all of the windows. Yeah, I don't I know if that. you noticed it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that was, but it was cool. 
I think it, it was just kind of a felt like it just made the scene a bit more dynamic. Like, yeah. I don't think it's meant to be anything. I don't think. I feel like it is, but I can't think like what it would represent. Maybe it's meant to be the lawyer pulling up or that doctor guy pulling up in his car. Yeah, I don't like that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry that you don't like it, but that is what happened. <laughs> Oh, okay. I've decided. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was really, really solid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just like, it's cool. I, I didn't pick up on any music. Was there any music? The music I remember is when he's walking from the yeah, cell to the, the beginning. to the room, and it's like kind of dramatic, like, and the, the, the woman talking over saying he's been diagnosed with mm. multiple personalities. Yeah. That was kind of cool but other than that there wasn't really anything that i noticed yeah no no um i mean the sound was there was a part at the beginning where i didn't love the sound when one of the personalities starts speaking to someone else in the background like one of the other personalities starts speaking to one of the other personalities yeah and like the sound you could hear how he was like far away from a microphone does that make sense uh, okay like yeah. they weren't yeah i didn't notice that but... like i picked up on it immediately and it was the only time i noticed it to be fair okay but like i did notice it and i was like ooh. Yeah, I assume they probably just had one boom mic above all of them, right? I assume so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to guess what the budget was? It's in dollars. What'd you say? Dollars. Dollars? Oh, I can't yeah. do that. Oh, God, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of what previous ones have been. So, the plumber was like $600, and then your one you said was... 2500 maybe? That was Tickle Monster. You said, no, I swear you said it was a bit more than that. I think it was. I think you said it was like... I know, I, I think it was... It was like 6000 Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe 7000 Okay, I'm going to guess this is 10,000. Okay. Uh, this is an estimate, but mm -hmm. it's $5,000. Okay. okay. So less than Tickle Monster. Yeah. Unless you, oh, I don't know, it was like ages ago, wasn't it? So I don't know what the inflation rate is, but yeah. let's just say it was less. And I think Tickle Monster was in pounds as well, I think. It was, yeah. So, so economy's a fickle thing. It is. <laughs> what is $5,000 in pounds? It's like 4.5K? I know. don't know. I don't know if that's too harsh. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, five thousand dollars. It's like that's like a, I would have expected a bit more. I guess when you really think about what you're looking at, yeah, I mean, maybe stuff was cheaper. Yeah, and the actors. I mean, like it's just if it's a showcase for the actors, you can get away with fucking not paying them. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, um, yeah. I guess when you say so it's a like showcase, happens, so then it's like or well, at least very least paying them like very little. Yeah, I think the location's probably pretty easy. Um, it's like literally a hallway and a room. And I'm assuming the room was a set. Yeah, well, they had the prison cell as well that they put padding in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that would have cost a little bit. Yeah, but, but then, then did the they get that? Like, you could have find you can location scout and find. Yeah, no, yeah, but like they you... would have had to probably pay to at least use it. Yeah, and it was true. like one shot as well, so yeah, wouldn't have been long. I'd be curious. Yeah, yeah, I'd no, be that's, curious. Yeah, that's good for the amount of money. I mean, for the quality of it. I mean, it obviously it depends on whether they have the equipment as well. Like, is this a case of them hiring equipment, or is it a case of them just yeah. being given it? Yeah, that is true. I actually, I don't know. I don't know whether he made it with a company oh, or God's anything. Sake, Jake. Sorry. Do your research. Yes, I'll do more for next time. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Anything else to add? Uh, no. I um I listened to the first one again because of this. Oh yeah. Because like it was so long ago. What and, apparition? Yeah, yeah. And we ranked them, and we didn't rank any of the other two. No, I thought we were just ranking mine and your films. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess. Because so. we're gonna do like if we do this for a long time. We were saying that like. Okay, yeah, but then we were saying with Tickle Monster Was it better thingy, or not? Is it better or not? Yeah, that's our current ranking system. This is a tough one because this is a really good one. It is. I personally, I think I prefer Tickle Monster. I think Tickle Monster is technically better. I don't know if I like it more. But okay, I think yeah. as a film, it's made better. I think I like a lot of the concepts in this one more yeah. than Inside. Yeah. Uh... No, I'm going to stick with Tickle Monster right now. Yeah. Yeah, Stickle Monster, we'll call it for now, because that's Stickle what I'm sticking with. Stickle yeah. Monster. Stuck at number one. Yeah, Stuckle Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Stuckle at number one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Give us an outro. Done? Skirt, skirt. Cool. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Thank you for listening, and the film and any other kind of socials and stuff will be linked down below. Yeah. Yep. Uh, see you next time. Bye.